Okay, so right here we're inside the Photoshop. And a couple things I want to add. I want to use a brush to add kind of fog maybe to this distance. As well, bring more details in sharpness and colors maybe to foreground and kind of to background. So it kind of enhance details sort of going over all because we have a nice bark, nice details, but again, they're a little bit lost. So let's do this way first. Uh, going to enhance by painting over some areas and to do this we'll just create new layer okay, I'm going to image we'll go to actually edit fill and we'll go fill with 50% gray next I'm going to switch to the soft light and we'll just use a brush okay and uh, white or black to kind of going over one thing what I wanted I want to make it opacity maybe about nine eight and flow 44 so and uh, using brackets we can increase decrease our brush size so we can go over actually let's make it darker right here so you can see I can go over right in this area and add a little bit more details again we can preview just like right here you can see how we're already very fast adding so we'll go bring a little bit closer okay, and just using brush to add a little bit more details again this is nicer and sometimes easiest way to do to add some higher contrast faster way than work with some atmospheres inside the view so of course the combination it's the best so right here you can see I have it some dark area and that's what I do I'm just a little bit slightly in the hands in those areas right here was the dark areas just kind of almost bring a little bit higher contrastness okay let's move it as well right here on the bottom okay maybe a little bit shadowing Effect as well as around right here. Okay, let's increase our brush size. Go to paint. A little bit darker. Some areas. So let's look a little bit more natural. And just add darker. Okay, we can also switch to the bright and opposite on a place where I want a little bit light. So I can go and add a little bit more highlights right in these areas. Okay, let's go move it and right here just on top slightly brush this highlights of course you kind of when you start playing a little bit more with this you kind of adjusting and see how it's work a little bit better for you okay as well we can up and maybe just a little bit right here touch so let's zoom out and you can see at this point we have it before and after so we kind of enhance a little bit depth creating um, next let's go to create new and I press control shift alt e so we combine those layers below and create new one and now I want to actually paint fog right here on the back kind of hiding or add more details okay so for this we'll create new layer above be sure where our paint set white we have it brush right here and I'm going to use the fog brushes from um, Ron brush collection and you can get this on a dust they have a very nice set for sale there so let's go see and what we have it we have it one like this okay let me kind of actually undo we'll go opacity and let's set opacity 200 percent on this so I'll just press and look so, so you can see it's kind of a nice effect to this Okay, let's go to add another one, maybe a little bit shorter. And I'm just looking. This one will 
can be nice. Let's reduce size. Okay, we'll go add a little bit right here. Okay, we also can go ahead and make a bit more gray color. And just using those ones, add maybe on the side slightly. Okay, and sometimes kind of I don't like how they're dark looking right here, so we can go remove this one. Okay, maybe one step up. And it is useful to create multiple layers, so if you don't like one or you have it opacity, we can rework. However, probably white will be the best actually. Or we can select some other colors. Okay, let's go select what else we have it. We have it kind of like this type of look. Okay, let's go add a little bit more. Okay, yeah, right here, okay. So I'll just add like maybe around Here, let's select more and this is kind of a lot of different very nice brush so you can see um, the very creative so you can apply to them just around add a little bit more touch uh, normally I like to use a different type of brushes so let's give it kind of like this nice um, random effect almost go right here so yeah it's a little better effect okay when we kind of done I think this is almost enough of this fog layout um, let's create now add the sharpness kind of another layer so I'm going control shift E again create new one more time um, select two of these layers group them set overlay and this is we'll start adding details inside the, our plants and after we'll do on outside the edge so we can balance with them now we'll select the first one We'll set vivid light, reverse it, control I, inverse, and we'll go to filter, blur, and select surface blur. Okay, for this one, probably set threshold about 5 and radius, maybe about 11. You can try different, you can increase threshold and see how it will affect 14 example, just slightly more. Okay, and you can see this is okay again how it's add these details a little bit more again um, maybe in some areas you don't want it like on a back so we can create here add um, mask to this reverse mask control I so it's removed and select brush with white low opacity and flow reducing Okay, we can select that brush and now we can go ahead and painting in some of the sharpness just in a place where we want to kind of have this so in avoiding maybe that sharpness right on the background so kind of painting in right here to closer to us So this is one and next let's um, create kind of outside for this control shift E again. This is actually nice because shift control I and E will take all layers below and merge them in one. So we can use this way. And for this one I want going actual overlay, filter, other and high pass and we'll create kind of sharpness you can see right here set to 0 0.9. It's give it this outside sharpness. Okay, and I want to apply this general on everything. 
Okay, next we'll create a new layer. And this layer, I want to actually have it color apply to some more interesting effect. Um, instead of have it complex, I'm going to use Filter Forge for this. Okay, and I have my preset, what I like to use. It is kind of in a Filter Forge, the plugin I did it. So actually I'm looking, probably this one I like a little bit better. Except I want to add more vibrance in this. Use saturation. You know, maybe pop up a little bit more on sharpness. Contrast. And let's see what. Okay, reduce. The green just slightly adjustments. So all the. Let's look. I think this will look nice. Let's click apply. Okay, so right here we have it kind of before and after. And we can also smooth out by blending. Okay, maybe around this area. Okay, I want to add vignetting to this one. Um, and we'll go to add vignetting a little bit. Otherwise, we're going to create. Actually, before do vignetting, let's apply small color balance. Start with shadows. And here's a trick: if we want to go colder, we need to go on the blue right here. So it also will increase contrast, or we can do a little bit more warmer. So I'll go just barely colder and redder kind of a little bit contrasting, higher contrast, mid-tones, maybe a bit warmer, kind of mid-tones and highlights, mostly see on the details right here, so I'm looking for the highlights. Okay, also right here a little bit boring still this, so let me do one thing. We'll go right below our clouds, create new layer. I'm going back to the brushes. We'll go take picker and I'm going to pick color, something darker maybe around this color. Okay, I'm going to select brushes and not maybe around this color will work. Okay. Here we'll go 100, 100 so you can preview color. We have it very nice applied. Let's decrease size. Okay, just be around here. And just add a little bit more details to this. Okay, let's go to Just some small points, kind of like almost hard to see. But let's give it this um, variations inside, so it's not just one solid color. So let's give it this kind of nice. Okay, let's go white. So we can see a little bit gradients, a bit more interesting, I think, going this way. Okay, so um, yeah, it's a little better. Okay, next let's um, create vignetting. This will go to curves, and we have a couple choices. We can have it 
um, kind of white, almost light, bright vignetting. Let's apply this and we can change afterwards if we want it with this. Next, I'm going to create a frame. Just select, fill up, and we'll take black color. And just fill up with the black. Okay, nice things about this uh, way to do it, so we can have it feather. And there you go, you can see we can applying already. Let's take a soft light to this, and we can nicely add this kind of light vignetting to this, or we can always go back and switch this to the dark vignetting. So you can have it options to going either way. So this is kind of nice about this way on the vignetting. So I think I'm going with a little bit more white color on this. Okay, so right here we have our done looking and of course if you want to have it more painting in fact we always can create new layer from this one we'll go to filter um, click on oil painting you can see how nicely effect will take shiny all the way down let's see if we and let's keep clean this down as well and you know maybe something effect with the stylization so I'm just look also on the branches so the branches we don't lose them too much but we still have this nice effect going on there okay I think this will do it okay we can also apply the effect this way um, have it our enable brush um, mask enabled Take a brush, set to soften opacity, flow, you know, just make even opacity less. Okay, let's increase and we can kind of paint in more details. Where we want, like for example, in this area. start painting again this way we reducing some um, increasing details in some other areas so it will give it us a bit more interesting look okay let's look, click on a mask preview where the mask is going and of course just also blending okay so it's, again it's up to you if you want this kind of grainy sharpness or little bit more painty effect it's whatever you're going after and we can go merge all this layer so that here we have our final layer and of course well, we can set one above this and here we have it before we apply all effects it still looks nice and the after so before and after so right here maybe just pop up a little bit just pinch more on vibrant so let's give it a little bit better effect of the painting again so right here we have an image before and after done with photoshop and thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com